everyone welcome back to rust admin academy so on last week's video i told you all about a plugin called dynamic cup share from chaos code but i also told you that dynamic cup share pairs very nicely with the plugin that i'm about to tell you about on today's video and that plugin of course is called auto code lock i'm going to put a link to it in the video description down below now unfortunately i don't know what the price of it is i want to say if my memory serves me correctly i think it's 15 dollars, but i don't remember and unfortunately as of the recording of this video i still haven't heard from anybody over at chaos code so i still don't have any promo codes for you all. I am hoping that that's going to change in the future, but if they don't reach out to me, there's not much I can do. So we're just going to quickly go over all of the features of auto code lock. And then I'm going to explain to you why I think these two plugins need to go together all the time. So of course, the first thing we need to deal with is the permissions. So this is a really simple permissions list. It's not difficult. You just need to decide what features you want your players to be able to auto deploy a code lock onto. So if you want your players to bring up the GUI or use the command auto code lock, then obviously you need to grant them the auto code lock permission. And then you just need to decide which items you want them to automatically deploy a lock onto so doors boxes tool cupboards stuff like that so this right here would be a pretty good basic setup for most of your players for your admins or maybe for your vips or something like that maybe you want to do no lock required which means they wouldn't actually have to craft a code lock and have it in their inventory in order for it to be automatically deployed onto the door if you want that to be the case obviously grant this permission right here called no lock needed once you're done with all your permissions of course you just go into the chat command you type slash code lock that's going to bring up the gui where you get to select which features you actually actually want to auto deploy locks onto. All of the deployables are obviously turned off by default. So your players would need to go in and turn on each one of those deployables that they want to have locks added to. And they can also define their pin or their door code directly in this GUI. So as you can see here by default, this is set to 3909. Yes, it does generate a different code for each user that's using the plugin. It's not like people are going to accidentally all have the same door lock code, but if they want to change it to whatever they want, you of course can do that through the GUI. So for example, I would do slash code lock and then P for pin and then enter in my code. In this case, I'm going to do 8484. So then it says your pin is successfully set to 8484. And then we can just simply go through and toggle on all of the things that we want to automatically place locks onto. So as you can see here, I've turned the auto code lock feature on, which means my code locks are automatically going to be locked as soon as I deploy a door or a box. And as long as we have all of the appropriate amount of locks in our inventory already crafted, providing of course, we don't have the no lock needed permission granted to us. As soon as we start deploying doors, you're going to see that it automatically places the lock and it also locks it for us. It also tells you in chat that it has locked it using this code, the 8484 that I previously set up. And it works for all doors and garage doors and boxes and also lockers. So it automatically deploys the lock, it locks it, it puts in the code you've predetermined. So you might be wondering why I think it's such a good idea to pair auto code lock with dynamic cup share. Well, I'm going to show you exactly a real life reason why I think it's such a good idea. So let's say you have a builder on your team or on your friends list or in your clan or whatever, it really likes to have a lot of entrance ways or a lot of doorways going into your base. So it looks something like this. So we might have four or five or 10 or 50 different doors that you have to go into to actually get inside your base to where you're storing all of your loot. So obviously if you're using a plugin like auto code lock, every time you place a door, it's going to automatically place the lock and lock it with your desired code. But if you're also using dynamic cup share, everyone that's on your friends list and or is a member of your clan, they automatically have access to all of these code locks. They don't have to go through each one of these doors, enter in the code. Same thing goes for boxes and or lockers. When you get into some of your heavily modded servers, you know that your players probably have like I don't know, 20, 30, maybe more boxes of loot inside their loot room. If there's a code lock on each one of those boxes, and there should be, then a clan mate has to actually go in and enter the code on each one of those boxes. So all of this to say, this is just a monster quality of life improvement for the players on your server. And I also want you to be thinking how you can be turning these features into VIP features, which at the end of the day is obviously going to help you pay for these plugins. So maybe you only allow certain aspects of the plugin to your default players and only provide the extras to your VIPs or something like that. Or maybe your default players don't even know these plugins exist and literally only your VIPs will have access to dynamic cup share or auto code lock. It all depends on how you want to configure it on your server. It obviously is going to matter what works for your community. Before I let you all go, I did mention on a live stream, I didn't make it publicly known that I was planning on taking some time off. I had said that I was going to take all of the month of November off. I don't think I'm going to actually do that. I cannot bring myself to actually take a month off. So if you did actually hear that through the grapevine, I think I've changed my mind on that. And I'm just going to keep putting out new videos right through until the new year, at least. Come January, we might talk about it again. But as it stands right now, if you happen to hear that I was going to take some time off, 
Forget I even said that. So if you've been listening to me talking about dynamic cup share and don't know what the hell I'm talking about, check out this video right here. If you already know everything you need to know about both of these plugins, then check out this video right here. I put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So until next Friday, hope you're being good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.